fond of reading books? Well, I am fond of reading books. Books are windows to the world. They help us to know about the new ideas and people and enhance our imaginative bent of mind. It is rightly said, an hour spending reading is one stolen from paradise. Namaste children, this is Manisha Segal from the Department of English and today I am going to teach you a very beautiful poem, Books by Eleanor Pargeon. Now let me brief you about the poetess. Eleanor Pargeon is one of the most celebrated English author of children's stories and plays. She won many literary awards and the Eleanor Pargeon Award for Children's Literature is awarded annually in her memory. So now I will recite the poem. What world of wonders are our books? As one opens them and looks, new ideas and people rise. In our pencils and our eyes, the room visit in melts away, and we find ourselves at play with someone who, before the end, may become our chosen friend. So in the first paragraph, the poet wants to say that books are world of wonders. Books are called world of wonders. Wonders means marvels. As one opens them and looks, new ideas and people rise. In our fences, fences means imaginations and our eyes. So the poet wants to say that when we read a book, we come, uh, you know, we get to know different people, their ideas, their opinions, fine. So reading a book helps us to know about different people around the world, different ideas, different opinions. The room we sit in melts away. Melts here means disappears. So the room we sit in melts away, disappears away. It means that. When we read a book, we get engrossed in reading a book so much that engrossed means busy. That we forget that where we are sitting. And we travel those places which are mentioned in the book. So this line means that the room we sit in melts away means the room we sit in disappears away. It means that we get engrossed reading in books so much that we forget that where we are sitting. And we start visiting, we start traveling in our imagination. We start traveling those places which are mentioned in the book. Isn't it true? Well, I feel so. And we find ourselves at play with someone who before the end may become our chosen friend. And we become familiar to the characters which we are reading in the books. Now let me recite the next paragraphs. Or we sail along the page to some other land or age. Here's our body in the chair, but our mind is over there. Each book is a magic box, which with a touch a child unlocks. In between their outside covers, books hold all things for their lovers. Now here the poet wants to say that when we read about different places in a book, we feel like traveling to those places in our imagination as depicted in the book. Or we sail along the page to some other land or age. It means that we feel like traveling to those places which are depicted in the book. Here's our body in the chair, but our mind is over there. Over there, here it means that world of books. Each book is a magic box 
Now the poet compares a book to a magic box. Like a magic box, it casts a spell on a child who opens it and gathers information about the outside world. Which with a touch a child unlocks. In between their outside covers, books hold all things for their lovers. It means that each book has something valuable, something precious for its readers. I hope you enjoyed reading this beautiful poem on books. This poem teaches us that books are one of the most valuable possession one can ever have. Now let me brief you about rhyming words. What do you mean by rhyming words? Rhyming words are group of words are two or more words that have same or similar ending sound. For example, goat, both, house, mouse. Rhyming words make a poem sound more interesting. Now let us find out pair of rhyming words in the last two paragraphs of the poem. Here we have page and each. Page rhymes with the word each. Chair, there. Covers, lovers. So now children, your task is to find out pair of rhyming words in the complete poem. 